Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of ENTV Movie Reviews. I'm Lila Wilcoxon. Today, we're going to be jumping into a movie review for one of Hulu's newest releases, Fresh. This movie was originally shown at the Sundance Film Festival back at the end of January, and then was slated for a Hulu release and came out on March 4th. The story follows a small part of the life of a girl named Noah, who is played by actress Daisy Edgar Jones, and her unusual interaction with the man named Steve, who is played by Sebastian Stan. The IMDb summary of the movie reads as such, The horrors of modern dating seen through one young woman's defiant battle to survive her new boyfriend's unusual appetite. Before I actually jump into this review, I'm going to go ahead and give a content warning since this movie is pretty graphic and is listed as a horror thriller. But let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, I'm gonna say it, I absolutely loved this movie. I thought it was so interesting. There are definitely more plot points that they can delve into if they ever wanted to do a sequel. And there's already people coming out with thousands of theories of what the story actually entailed. Normally, I'm not much of a horror thriller person, but I'm gonna say this movie was really good and I thoroughly enjoyed it and definitely could rewatch it multiple times. There are so many little things within the movie that you could miss within a second's notice if you even so much as blink, but when you notice them, you kind of sit back and you're like, oh my god, that's horrifying. I think the way that Steve, played by Sebastian Stan, was played out in his cannibalistic tendencies was really interesting because you almost liked him before you saw him cutting up a leg. Noah obviously falls for him, he's really charming, and I think that Sebastian did an amazing job with making him that kind of charming, evil underneath serial killer trope. I also thought that Daisy did an amazing job playing Noah. When she's actually taken captive and put in the house, you can see that the camera's angled so that it looks like she's looking around the house for ways to escape, which actually ends up helping her out later. Once again, with the little touches of the show that made it even more creepy and terrifying, how she could hear the other girls and talk to them through the wall. Another character that I found really interesting and that I definitely think we could dive more into was Noah's best friend Molly, played by Jojo T. Gibbs. I really liked the way they played up her going to save Noah and then ending up getting captured and how she was able to find out about the fact that Steve has this whole other family. And we won't even jump into the insane amount of theories that are already present about what Steve's actual wife has to do with the story, why she doesn't have one of her legs, why she was pulling her face up like she wanted a facelift, and as Steve is an actual doctor supposedly and plays a reconstructive surgeon, and then he goes and inspects her face, I feel like there's a whole lot more that we have to delve into. Back to Noah and Steve though, I think that their chemistry on screen was amazing. I genuinely felt bad for Noah when she gets drugged by Steve and when all this terrible stuff starts to happen to her and her acting was amazing as playing this captive woman and when she starts to panic and break down, I thought her acting was absolutely impeccable and how Sebastian Stan playing Steve played off of that and how he just kind of sat there and you saw this crazed look in his eyes but it was almost, I don't even know how to describe it, it was insane, genuinely mind boggling throughout the entire movie. I thought the ending was very interesting, especially with how the wife gets involved. Once again, I won't get into all that, but there's definitely something there that can be brought up if they choose to do another movie. Then how Steve with his infatuation for Noah and how Noah uses that to her advantage or in order to get in there and find a way out to escape. Overall, I thought this movie was mind-bogglingly terrifying and absolutely amazing and a must-watch horror movie for 2022. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of ENTV Movie Reviews. Make sure you go check out Fresh on Hulu and keep an eye out for upcoming movie review releases.